Hey guys, Nick, I came the one only next games today. I'm teaching you guys how to install hit splat damage indicators in Minecraft 1.8. So let's go ahead and jump on into this. First off, what we want to do is go to our web browser and go to Minecraft 1.8 just forms. It doesn't matter. First link in the description down below. Go down there, click that. It will take you up to this page where you then want to scroll down until you see damage indicators 1.8. If you see that right there, make sure you click on 1.8 just to be sure. It will then take us off to AdFly where we have to wait five seconds. In these five seconds, I'm going to say this. If you have any issues with AdFly, simply right click and reload. If that does not work, simply uh, Google how to enable cookies in whatever browser you have. Come back to this video, or do those tutorials, come back, and it should work, right? If that doesn't help you, I don't know what will. Adfly, some of these mod creators have to use to make a little bit of money back for all of the work they put into their mods. Nevertheless, once you've waited your five seconds, you can skip ad right up here at the top. Now, it will go ahead and download the file where we want to keep it. We're not done downloading yet, though. We still need to download Forge, which is the second link down below, or files.minecraftforge.net slash minecraftforge slash slash 1.8, or... Second link down below. Much freaking easier, right? Anyway, go down there, click that. It will take you to this page where you want to find the latest 1.8 and scroll all the way over until you see installer. Once you found installer, click that. It will then take us off to AdFly. If you get an issue like this, like I said, right click, reload, reload this page, boom, and it works now. It might not for you. You might have to go enable cookies, and that still might not work. But like I said, these guys have to use AdFly. We again have to wait five seconds, and then right up here, we can click skip ad. It will then download Forge. We want to keep that. And now, if we minimize our browser, we have two mods right here on our desktop. 1.8 damage indicators and Forge. Very, very simple. If they're not on your desktop, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in Downloads. Hit Enter. They will be here in your Downloads folder. If they are, take them, drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once you have these two mods on your desktop, we need to install Forge first. To do this, simply right-click on it. Open with... Java TM Platform SE Binary. Click that. It will then open up this handy little installer where we want to click Install Client, click OK, go through, do all that stuff, click OK because it is successfully installed Forge Client Profile. Awesome. And boom, we've installed Forge. We can go ahead and delete the file we downloaded. Now let's install damage indicators. To do this, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. This time we don't want to go to downloads, we want to go to percent app data percent or percent app data percent percent app data percent hit enter it will then open up this where you then want to go into dot minecraft and then we will have a mods folder but nick i don't have a mods folder what do i do well it's very simple create one right click over here in the white space new folder and then you want to type mods mods all lowercase and you've got a mods folder go ahead and open up that mods folder you just created and drag 1.8 damage indicators mod into it now we need to go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher and we will launch into forge with hit splat damage indicators installed pretty simple and easy stuff guys once we're in the minecraft launcher we want to go to the profile we want to play in my case that's nick's games hit edit profile then yours most likely won't be used version forge yours will most likely be used latest version or release 1.8.1 whichever it is doesn't matter click on release whatever it says here just click on it and then scroll all the way down to the bottom where you'll see forge now i have two versions of forge installed the higher number as you can see 1295 versus 1290 is the one we want so the 1295 is what we want higher number so click that click save profile and click play it'll now go through download some stuff do some things and then open up a black screen then it'll switch to mojang then it'll switch to the Minecraft main menu. The reason it does that and the reason it takes so long, which it will take a minute here, is because of uh, Forge being in beta, right? Forge is in beta. I'll show you how you can tell if it's in beta once we get to the main menu. It's pretty obvious, but I will show you. And, um, yeah, once Forge isn't in beta, startup time should be faster. You'll have less bugs in Forge and all that stuff. Things will just run a heck of a lot smoother. But who knows when Forge will be out of beta. And as you can see, warning, Forge beta! As long as this right up here is here, Forge is in beta. If that's gone, Forge is no longer in beta. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and go into single player we can go into a creative world here and we will be able to see uh see what's going on here with uh with hit spot damage indicators as you can see right down there it is damage indicators ver ver version 3.3.3.0 is up to date we can run over here sheep hit the sheep and it shows how much damage we are doing so there you guys have it and then we're about to kill the sheep We'll spare the sheep. No, we won't. We are ruthless. Sheep dead. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. That is how you can spell hit splat damage indicators in Minecraft 1.8. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I make awesome Minecraft tutorials every single day of the week that I know you will enjoy. My name is Nick's Games, and I am out, guys. Peace. Thank you guys for watching. Here are some videos you guys might want to go check out. Down that way, we've got 1.8 Essence of the Gods. That's what EO 
TG stands for. It was too big to fit in my little box. But nevertheless, that is an amazing mod that I think is going to have a huge presence in 1.8, so I would recommend going and checking it out if you're interested in Minecraft mods, because that is an amazing mod. I, I can't wait to use it in packs, like mod packs moving forward. It's going to be amazing. And down the other way, we have Nixcraft Episode 17. That's my weekly survival Let's Play series, where I play Minecraft 1.8 Survive and Build a Sky Village. It's actually really cool. But don't knock it until you've seen it. Go check it out. I think you guys will really enjoy that. I'm Nick's Games. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'm out, guys. Peace.